before I lose my mind. I am very indecisive when it comes to stuff. Hate them, can't stand them, I'm so stupid. Any boys in your life? What is up, my dudes? What is also going on in the background? Hello, people, what is up? We're gonna pretend that my room isn't a mess and we're also gonna turn on my ring light. Today, we are answering some questions because to be honestly, Frank, what am I saying? To be honest with you guys, I have such a bad headache right now and it's not even a headache. It's like this weird pounding sensation in the side of my head and it comes in like bursts and I don't know if I have like a brain tumor and I'm gonna die. But if I am gonna die, I'd rather answer these questions and get this video filmed before that happens. That's what we're gonna do today. So anyways, I put out a little question thingy on my channel in the community section the other day and you guys pulled through with those questions. So we're gonna be answering them. All right, we're starting at the bottom. First question comes from Ava and she says, do you like pie? And actually I don't. So here's the thing, I like pie, but I only like a certain kind of pie. I like cream pie, but I don't like chocolate. So I like coconut cream pie and I like banana cream pie and then that is like it. All right, uh, what is your favorite Disney movie and show? This is a really tough one because I obviously am a huge Disney fan. I have a Disney hoodie on right now. I have a freaking Disney tattoo right there. You all know I'm a huge Disney fan. So I love a lot of the different movies. I actually just watched Soul for the first time last night, but I don't know. I don't know what my favorite Disney movie is. I really like Aristocats. Aristocats always has like a special place in my heart because it was like my favorite movie growing up. I don't know if it's my favorite movie anymore, but it definitely is one of my top favorite ones. So definitely the Aristocats. And I feel like if you haven't seen it, which a lot of people haven't, you need to go watch it before I lose my mind. All right, Italian or Mexican food? I'm so stupid. I was like, what's Italian food? Like pasta. I really like pasta. I mean, I like tacos a lot, but I think overall, cause like pizza, pasta, like that kind of stuff's Italian. So I'd rather have that because I'm very, very picky with my food. And so when I get tacos, I get like cheese, meat, lettuce, that's it. Like I literally don't get sour cream. I don't get salsa. I don't get anything else in it. I don't like beans. So I like it very, very plain. Opinion on filled donuts. Hate them, can't stand them. I don't think donuts should have goo inside of them. It grosses me out. I don't like jelly, no. I think that kind of all goes with the whole pie thing too because I don't like pie because it's a consistency, I think. Pizza or pasta? I literally just talked about this. Probably pasta. I have been obsessed with like fettuccine alfredo or chicken fettuccine alfredo. It's like my favorite pasta ever. I didn't have it growing up because my parents don't really, like my dad doesn't like white sauce. So we always have like spaghetti and like that kind of stuff. So I got it recently. Well, not recently. I guess it was a couple years ago for like the first time and I stressed with it. Favorite song of all time. I don't really know. Here, here's the thing that I have issues with. Favorite foods, favorite movies, favorite drinks, favorite songs. I am very indecisive when it comes to stuff and like it depends on what mood I'm in. So sometimes I'll be like, yes, I want to listen to a pop song. Sometimes like, yes, I want to listen to, I was gonna say, I literally only really listen to pop music. Sometimes I want to listen to a slow song. Sometimes I want to listen to a fast song. Sometimes I'm in the mood to listen to Ed Sheeran and other times I'm in the mood to listen to Ariana Grande and sometimes I'm in the mood to listen to Why Don't We? It just like depends on what kind of mood I'm in and kind of what's happening that day. So I don't really have an all-time favorite song. Do you want kids in the future? And if so, how many? At least two, but no more than three. Obviously things happen. What if I have two sets of twins? That'd be four, whatever. Like it happens. Twins do run in my family. So like, who knows? I'm actually kind of hoping I have twins. And if I do have twins, then I want three kids because I want the set of twins and I want another kid. Tacos or burritos? Like I said before, definitely tacos because I am not very um, creative when it comes to my food. I'm very basic. Favorite color? Purple, purple. I love purple. Turkey or ham? Here's the thing. If we're talking about like sandwiches, like sandwich meat, I don't eat turkey. Like I don't eat turkey sandwiches like that. I think it's gross. I only eat ham sandwiches. However, if it's like, I can eat the same sort of meat like on like crackers or just like plain, I'll eat the turkey. I just won't eat it in a sandwich. It's just something with me. Like I will never get it at Subway ever. I'll only ever get ham and cheese. Back to the whole thing. I'm very basic with the stuff I like to eat. However, when it comes to warm, like in the oven Christmas dinner type ham or turkey, I love turkey. First celebrity crush. Probably first celebrity crush would be Nick Jonas because I freaking was obsessed with him and I loved him and I had a poster when I saw him in concert that says Nick is great. If you want to backstory in that, I can tell you that another day, but I wasn't allowed to say I love you Nick Jonas because he's not my man. Again, whole other story for a whole other day. If you change your name to anything, what would it be? I've thought about this quite a bit. My middle name, as you guys have seen by my channel, is Taylor. Taylor is not my last name, it's my middle name. I do like the name Taylor. However, I have a friend named Taylor who, shout out to you Taylor, um, if you're watching this, you probably are. I love the name Taylor. Uh, I always have, hence why I go by Jessica Taylor. With having a friend named Taylor, I would change my name to that now. 
Um, but before I was friends with her, so maybe like five years ago, I probably would have. Or I've always really, really liked the name Katie. I don't think I suit the name Katie or Maddie, like Madison. Or I also really like the name Sarah. But I've had some not so good encounters with some Sarahs, so I don't really have um, fond memories of that name anymore. So probably, probably Madison, maybe. Do I look like a Maddie to you? Probably not. Weird habits. Do I have any weird habits? I definitely do. What I like to do when I have nails, which is such a bad habit that I need to stop, is I like to just bite them. I literally don't bite them. I just like put them in my mouth and hold them, which I know I shouldn't, but it's like, or like I'll just like put it on my lip. I don't know. It's a weird habit I feel like, but I feel like other people also do it, so it's not that bizarre. Do I have any other weird habits? I probably do. I just, I just don't know. Other people have to point them out to kind of let them be in my presence. Any boys in your life? The only boys in my life are my brother and dad. So no. Unless we're talking about celebrities and then um, if I look back at my DMs real quick, no. None of them DM me back. Mozzarella or cheddar cheese? 100% cheddar. Don't get me wrong. I do love a good mozzarella, but cheddar is where it's at. Now, can you sing for us? No, and I'm doing you a favor there. Biggest pet peeves. Ooh, this is, oh, it irks me so much. Okay, biggest pet peeves. I cannot stand hypocritical people. People who go and they say one thing and they completely do another and they're like backstabbing. Oh my God, literally drives me insane. People that literally are, oh, I'm super sweet. Oh, blah, 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 I'm super nice. And then super nice to like one person and like to the public say one thing, you, you know, put themselves out there as like the star person. And then really you like turn your head and they're stabbing someone in the back and saying completely different things and doing completely different things and not the same person they present themselves to be. So basically you're just like fake people. I can't stand fake people. It drives me insane. I've had too many of them in my life. I just cut them out. Cut them out. Cut it off. How tall are you? I'm five foot seven. So I'm like slightly taller than a lot of people. I feel like I'm I'm still average height, but I'm a little bit taller than average height. I feel like a lot of people are like five five. Favorite food. I just I don't really know favorites. I am so like indecisive when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I don't really know. I feel like my camera's also out of focus. Hello, please be focused. I don't wanna to have to refilm this. Hello, work for me, people. Yeah, favorite food, I don't really have favorites a lot of stuff, but I do like junk food, so, or like stuff that's like creamy and unhealthy for you. Like I freaking love fettuccine Alfredo. I love pizza. I love stuff like that. So yeah. Huh. Macaroni and cheese or fettuccine? Fettuccine, boys. Favorite form of potatoes? Ooh, french fries <laughs> or chips. I mean, probably not asking that. Should I think of like an actual potato? I like, what do I like? I like baked potatoes when they have like cheese and like bacon and stuff on them. I think those are really good. I like scallop potatoes with like cheese. Those are really good. Also, yes, I have lost my pinky nail. Ignore it, please. And thank you. Neons or pastels? Probably pastels. Too much seasoning or not enough? Definitely not enough. Like I said, I am very plain and I like the plain food. So like get me some like white rice with some butter and like some plain chicken. There you go. This is a tough one. Biggest lie you've told. I don't know. This is really tough actually. I don't know. <laughs> that I was happy. Moving on. What food group do you think eggs belong to? Is she meaning like like protein and like fruits and veggies? I think it's a protein. I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> Thoughts on animal print. I think in certain situations I like it. For me, it's not really my thing. Like I do like a good cow print. I think cow print's really nice and I'm kind of thinking about getting something that's cow print because it's like super in style and print right now. However, I don't know if it's my cup of tea. People have been really loving like cow and cheetah and like all those other different animal prints. I don't have anything. Like I used to when I was younger, obviously. I think we all did. But yeah, I don't know. It's, I like it and people can pull it off and look so good on them, but I don't think it's a me thing. Are you ever gonna dye your hair purple? I don't know. See, my hair is still light at the bottom. It's kind of fading a lot and I'm kind of thinking about re-dyeing it. I don't really know what I want to do. If I want to go dark brown, if I want to go light brown, if I want to keep it, if I want to dye it blonde again. I don't know what I want to do. All I know is I need to wash it because it's hella greasy. But I do have this like spray dye stuff that you can spray your hair and then it goes purple. It's like a spray in, wash out, one wash type of thing. So I might be doing that. I'll probably film a video if I do that. However, I'm probably gonna do that, like the spray and stuff after I move because fun fact, when I move, I'm actually gonna have my own bathroom. I don't have to share with my brother anymore, which is gonna be really, really, really nice because he's annoying, very. 
Don't get me wrong, I love him, but he is my younger brother and younger brothers are annoying, period. So yeah, I'll probably do that, do the little spray and stuff, but I'm currently packing things up, obviously, as you can tell and see and heard a thousand times by now. But actually, when you guys see this video, I'm actually gonna already have been in my new house. So who knows, by the time you see this, I might have already filmed it, but I don't know. Who is your favorite Why Don't We member? I don't know. Why am I saying I don't know? But <laughs> I hate saying that I have a favorite one because I do love them all and don't get me wrong, they all have like a special place in my heart. Some of them I just feel like I have a stronger connection with over the others. Like I love Jack. Jack is such a sweet guy, but for personally for me, I feel like our personalities, we don't mesh. Like we don't just like flow easily. When I'm with my friends, it's great. Like I can talk to Jack perfectly fine. We have a great conversation. We have fun times. We laugh, all the fun stuff. But when it's just like one-on-one -on -one, me and Jack, I feel like I'm kind of just awkward and so is he and so our combination together just makes for an awkward situation and I try and force us to be unawkward but by doing that it makes it more awkward. I am very nervous and get very just like anxious in certain situations and I feel like he is kind of the same sort of way and so us both being slightly awkward just makes for not the best situation. I mean, we always have a good time and we always have laughs and whatever, a good conversation, but to get to that point, I feel like it's just kind of awkward. So sorry, Jack, I love you, but like if I had to pick somebody, it would probably be Daniel. I mean, we all know I have a Daniel tattoo. He drew my tattoo for me. I have a necklace that I had with my name on it that he wrote out for me that it broke, but I actually ordered a new one. So it should be here over the next week or so, which I'm very, very excited about. But yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, knowing Daniel for a very, very long time, because I've known him since Idol. And by know him, I mean, I know of him since Idol. So it's been years now. So I feel like I have that almost different connection with him because I've been following him for so long. As well as Jonah, I mean, I didn't necessarily support him back in the day. However, I didn't know about him and I still heard and saw his stuff. So although I wasn't like this number one Jonah Stan back in whatever year it was, I was still kind of knowing what he was doing and keeping up to date on his life. So I feel like, again, that kind of connection there. Plus, like, I'm 22, Jonah's 22, Daniel's turning 22. Like, it's, we're all very in a similar age. So... I feel like it just, like, meshes well, you know? You know? Like, Jonah's a couple months older than me, and Daniel's a couple months younger than me. I don't know, I feel like we all just understand kind of, not that like Jack isn't, Jack's birthday is like not that far away from mine either, so I'm only a couple months older than him as well, but you get my point. What's your dream car? Um, well, okay, my dream car used to be a convertible, like, electric blue, like, this color blue Mustang. I absolutely was obsessed with that. I wanted to be from California because I just love California. So I wanted to move to California, buy a new car, buy an electric blue Mustang that's convertible with a black soft top roof. Then I discovered that Mustangs are only two-door. And there's this thing about me that I cannot stand two-door cars. Don't get me wrong, there are some nice two-door cars, but I never want to have a two-door car. So that is no longer my dream car. And the more and more I do thinking and the more and more I think about it, kind of leaning towards a Tesla. I'm not a huge car person, as you can obviously tell, but I do kind of want a white Tesla. I think they're really nice and they're popping up more and more. So it is kind of more of a realistic goal in the long run. But at the same time, I also kind of want like a BMW. If you guys know my family, I'm gonna insert a picture right here for in their car. I freaking love this car. I love the color of it. I love just the car. It's a nice car. So maybe one day that'll be my dream car. I don't know. I don't really think about dream cars that much because for me, as long as it gets me from point A to point B and it has the amenities I need, that's really all that matters. Favorite pattern. I really like polka dots, but a lot of my stuff that I actually have is striped now. So apparently I really like stripes, but yeah, I guess I like stripes, apparently. Ooh, dogs or cats. This is a tough one. And then we'll have one last question after this. And then that'll be about half the questions and we'll do another video with me packing, answering the rest of them. But Dogs or cats, that is a really, really tough one. I don't know. I have both a dog and a cat, and I love them both to death, but I feel like as much as I love my cat, because, you know, I mean, she's kind of a devil, but, like, you can snuggle with cats, and you can pick them up and hold them and carry them, and they're cute. Dogs, they'll follow you around, they'll listen to you, they'll be there for you, and they're more, of like, human-like. I mean, although a dog is not human, and they're completely different, they're more human-like than some other animals, such as cats or whatever else. So I think I'm gonna have to go with dogs. As much as I love cats, I'm gonna have to go with dogs just because they're more like a friend opposed to just a pet. The last question, does a straw have one hole or two? See, this question drives me insane because I don't know. I don't know. This is like, oh no, my camera's about to die. Ah, uh, 
My camera's gonna die any second and I have to answer this question. I'm gonna say one hole that just continues throughout the entire thing, but I'm gonna be thinking about this all night, so thank you, Ava, for putting this in my head. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and you comment down below any video sessions you may have. You can definitely always use those, as well as if you wanna ever ask me any more questions, you can always leave them down in the description, not description, comment section and I'll be for sure to answer them and if you also want to and help me out you can hit the little subscribe button and the post notification bell it would really mean a lot so yeah anyways this camera's about to die so I'm going to sign off so I will talk to you all soon you can also go ahead down below and check out the links in the description I forgot to say this but I have my Twitter Instagram TikTok all that fun stuff so make sure you go check those out if you want to and with it all being said I'm gonna go peace out guys I love you all I will see you soon I hope you have a fantastic day goodbye